Good Wednesday morning. And as you can see, it's sort of summery today. It, it may get up uh, almost to 100 degrees uh, today, certainly in the mid 90s. Anyway, what I have here is a ritual. The Ceremony of the Seven Holy Kings. Okay, it's kind of an obscure uh, Crowley ritual. Uh, technically, it's an AA ritual, uh, but uh, let's see, what class is it in? It's a ritual in class, class D. Okay, it's a class D uh, ritual. This is how uh, I first uh, I received the manuscript uh, many years ago. I probably got this uh, in around 19... 76 or uh, and I'm not sure who typed it. It uh, might have been a typescript bearing the legend rituals of AA and it's still using a typewriter there to make the AA uh, little triangle of dots uh, with the holograph copy catalog letter F and I believe this is from the Germer Library, okay, because I got it from Phyllis, uh, probably at the time Phyllis McMurtry Seckler. And it's the ceremony, okay, uh, Liber 28, the ceremony of the seven holy kings. Now, probationers, he's talking about the AA probationers here now, okay, who were idle or luxurious shall be given a task suitable to their nature. A, ch a, a chore, an errand, okay, from their, their probably immediate AA superior. They're neophyte, okay, at least. Give them a little chore to do, okay. Suitable to their nature, so nothing they can't handle, okay. If they refuse the task from laziness or from a feeling that they have more important business, as their neophyte may judge, then may V, 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 8 equals 3 himself. Okay. Himself inform them with much deference that they are now fitted for admission to the mystery of the seven holy kings. Now, V, 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 V himself, I'm sure at the time that this original was typed up, was Aleister Crowley himself, acting in his capacity as a master, uh, master of the temple, and where the buck totally stopped with the AA. V, 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 V. Okay. Uh, I would not presume to uh, suggest that anyone is fulfilling that particular role since Crowley's death. Okay. I would not presume. I'm not denying that there isn't one or that there is one or there are 5,000 of them. I'm just saying, I would not presume to talk. But it's not the neophyte. It's not the person's immediate teacher or mentor in, in the AA that is telling them that they have the, the they've earned the the right to this special ritual, but it is the the actual source of the entire hierarchical structure uh, that is giving this ritual uh, to the to the person down here in number ten. Okay. But it requires a, a whole temple set up, and uh, I think this ritual was written so early 
that uh, uh, Crowley was probably assuming that uh, uh, everybody had sort of a golden dawn, or at least a Liber Pyramidos uh, 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 temples set up with a hegemon and a hyris and a, and uh, uh, he said, actually, ideally, all all nine of a Golden Dawn Temple uh, officers are involved in this. And I'm going to read it to you. I, I, I'm sure you can find it on the Internet in a million places, uh, but I'm going to read it to you. Uh, the temple is arranged as Shun in the attached illustration, which is missing in this copy. The other officers are the hegemon, clad in white and masked in white, and in his hand the phoenix wand of the priests of the planets. The phoenix wand of the planets, got those bands, that are like, a, like a rainbow colored band. Why is the planet thing going to be important here? Because this is a planetary experience, not a elemental experience, not a, you know, three mother letters, and it's not a zodiacal experience. Uh, the seven simple letters. It's a planetary experience the seven double letters of the Hebrew alphabet and all that that entails. And that entails, if we look at it as a cube of space, here would be your, your elemental universe. But with that dot right in the middle, that black dot in the middle, but we've got up and down, for Aleph, we've got right and left, or east and, east and west, for Mem, and we've got the red one, north and south, for Sheen. That three-part extension coming from that center, black center uh, uh, point, creates a top and a bottom, and a right and a left, and a front and a back. It creates three, creates a seven-part world of duality. The seventh part, of course, is that, that point in the middle. And that creates this. And the seven-part ceremony is going to be that black dot and the walls of this cube, walls and ceiling. But how it's going to manifest in the temple are a seven-step high altar setup. Seven steps that represent that and are taken in order of the tree of life assignment of the planetary spheres. So in other words, there's a lot of thought going into this. And it's all based on, Mr. Probationer, are you, are you really ready to, to experience the roller coaster ride of duality? Because that's your next ordeal, kiddo, okay? Duality. You can't handle <laughs> duality. Okay. But I digress. Here we go. The god of the first throne. Okay, that would be Saturn. Okay. Number, th number three. Okay. Uh, the god of the first throne hath robes of deep blue. The second... Okay, the second would be the, your Jupiter there. Even though it's the fourth Sephiroth, it's the second one coming down. 
uh, let's see, uh, violet, the fourth, or the Mars, orange, the fifth, uh, excuse me, scarlet, uh, orange for the fifth, which is the sixth there, green for the sixth, pale yellow for the seventh, and for the moon there, bright blue. So you see that those officers playing those parts are wearing those queen scale colors of the, of the Sephiroth. The other officers are the hegemon clad in white and mask in white and in his hand is the phoenix wand of the planets and the hyrus mask in, uh, in black and robed in black. Okay, the hegemon and the hyrus are sort of like the good cop, bad cop officers. Uh, the, the, the hegemon is sort of like your guardian angel and the hyrus is the badass Horus kind of guy who's always opposing you. No, you got to overcome my, my shit before you get, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, and in the Hyrus's hands are the Scourge and Crook. The candidate, well fed and joyful, clad in the robe of a probationer and crowned with laurel, is led by the hegemon, his neophyte, into the hall, taken to the altar on which burns a small fire of od odorous wood, cedar and sandal, or lingam aloes. This is the abermelon uh, recipe for incense. He's made to kneel thereat, and the black officer uh, comes forward threatening me with a, with a scourge, and he says, Who art thou? And the hegemon, guardian angel in the background there, for the candidate. I am the aspirant to the sacred and sublime order of AA. I seek the aid of Osiris. Note, this ceremony can be adapted for working by two officers, the hegemon assuming each time a different colored cloak for, okay, and the appropriate god form. But it's most desirable that the full complement of nine officers should assist. Okay, so the the candidate is said to say, I'm an aspirant and I seek the aid of uh, Osiris. Uh, Hail unto thee, Osiris triumphant, Lord of Amnenta, Lord of the Ene, Itch, and that's a, that's a, uh, bracketed three dot. You don't know what that word is. Okay. Hail unto the all glorious sun and merciful uh, justice upon whose head is the golden crown of light that it is invisible to men. Hail unto thee. Hail unto thee, soul light in our darkness. Hail unto thee, whom alone may attend unto the... Uh, uh, brotherhood immortal, deem to guide this aspirant in the straight path and let him not fall in the way of those who err. So it's like a benediction uh, upon the, the candidate. And even though it doesn't say it, we're assuming that that is being called down uh, uh, by the, the hegemon. But there's no answer. Let us arise and seek Osiris. So the candidate gets off his knees and they come to the first throne, and that's Saturn. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. Oh, that, oh, thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength 
and I give thee of my bounty, peace and plenty and contentment and good health and length of days. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware. Okay, hang on. This is what I had it all set up. Lon's audio visuals. Saturn. He has just delivered that line. <clears throat> All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side. For he shall put ice against thy heart. He shall constrict thy whole being. He shall bring thee to sorrow and poverty and premature old age, if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Peace, therefore, excuse me, place, therefore, thine head upon my knees, that I may put my hands upon thine head and bless thee with my blessing. He does so. Welcome hast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass now on. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. Okay, I'm repeating that. That's not written repeated. They reach the second stone, throne, Jupiter. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. Thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal, aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, authority, and the respect of men, and distinction, and praise, and veneration. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall cast thee down. Thou shalt be despised of all men, and thy power shall be broken, if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Are you getting the duality idea? They reach the third throne. That would be number five on the tree of life. Okay. Mars. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. Thou hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, courage and energy and force, conquest and dominion, all these thou hast won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall burn thee as with fire. And all that thou wast shall thou lose. And in thy battles shall thou be overcome, and thou shalt be broken and ground into dust, if thou so much lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. So they're 
warning him, don't look in the face of my shadow. Okay. They reached the fourth oh, pass thou on. Okay, welcome thou wast, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the fourth throne, which is the sixth Sephira, the sun. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. Thou hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty. Fame and jollity and, uh, and a life fair and open. Glory and harmony shall be thy servants, and victory shall wait upon thee as an handmaid. All these thou hast won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall drive thee from the life of men so that thou hidest in dens and caverns from the light and thy name shall be lost and thou shalt suddenly be slain if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face place therefore thine head upon my knees that i might put mine hands upon thine head and bless thee with my blessings he does so. Welcome, wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. Now we're going next, coming down the tree of life, which is Netzach, uh, Venus, number seven. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For thou art chosen, O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty. I'm going to stop that. Love and beauty and true happiness, ease and abundance. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side. And I got a black shadow right over here. I was gonna, I had to, I'm sorry, I know this is serious, and it sounded really good. But I heard your voice, and I had one of the screen. Are there any women here? I'm sorry. Thank you for that Monty Python flashback. Okay. Uh, all these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side. she is for he shall destroy love in thee and all thy beauty shall be blasted no word of kindness shalt thou ever hear again if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face place therefore thine head upon my knees that i may put mine hands upon thine head and bless thee with my blessing he does so. Come wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. <laughs> Pass thou on. They reach the sixth. Mercury. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. Thou hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, learning and eloquence, and the power to heal the ills of men. All of these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for a thief shall come upon thee and despoil thee, and thou shalt have no more knowledge. And with disease thy body shall dissolve away if thou so much lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees 
that I might put mine hands upon thine head and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. Isn't this a cool experience? If they're actually doing this to you, and you're starting to put things together, okay? They reach the seventh throne. Okay, this would be nine. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen, O thou that aspire to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, purity and clearness of vision, and all the harvest of delight. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall darken thine eyes, and thou shalt waste away, and thou shalt go a cold, and thou shalt suddenly be slain, if thou so much lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thy head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou to me, as thou wert welcome to my brethren. Thou didst but lift thine hand in aspiration to the brotherhood immortal. Thou hast swept away the seven cords of the celestial harp. Pass thou on. Now she had a little longer message because that's the final one. Okay. He does so. Welcome wast thou to me, as thou wast welcome uh, uh, to my brethren. Thou didst but lift up thine hand in aspiration to the brotherhood immortal. Thou hast swept away the seven cords of the celestial harp. Excuse me. Thou hast swept, not swept away. The seven cords of the celestial harp. Pass thou on. They go back but not to the altar, but to the little door of the temple. Within is a dark dungeon. There he must remain for seven hours. Okay. Just kind of to recap and put this in perspective. Out of the blue, you get a phone call from your neophyte and it says, uh, uh, VVVVV has uh, uh, determined that you deserve a special ritual. Okay, Not every neophyte get, or probationer gets this ritual, but you do. Okay? It comes right from the top. Top man, top woman, top whatever. You get this special one. Oh, when you show up, whoa, they must like the way I uh, avoid doing work. Okay. And then you've got this ceremony. You got all of this just for you. You got nine officers, ideally, okay. And they're all robed up, and you're saying, oh, yeah, I get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, duality. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. And there, and I'm getting blessings from every aspect of this seven part qualities of of uh, of nature. But there's a backside to every one of those, and and I've been warned. Okay, about the backside, about the the. There's two sides to this coin this duality thing. But you're feeling pretty damn good after the whole thing, and you know that you're at, at Luna, and you know that you're f uh, finished, and now 
now comes the payoff and then we can go to dinner. <laughs> yeah. But instead of the payoff, you're put in a black room all by yourself in a dungeon. Well, actually, the payoff that you're thinking you're going to get is Osiris, okay? That's at the very beginning, let us go seek Osiris. And there's all of these, these double-sided planetary things that stand in between. And you're getting ready to, now comes, I get to see Osiris and lay my head upon his knees of, of Osiris and, you know, Maybe I'll get a cool jewel that I can post on Facebook. And, and uh, but no, you're shoved in a dungeon. And at first you think it's kind of cool. Ooh, this is where I, this is where I, uh, okay, it's been about 10 minutes here. That's uh, seven hours. But, at any point previous to the ritual, previous to the ritual, if at any point he should say, I ask not these blessings, I seek Osiris. In other words, do you have balls to tell your officers? Cut to the chase. Yeah, I, I know there's this, there's this side of that and this side of that. Didn't you tell me right at first we're seeking Osiris? I ask these, not these blessings, I seek Osiris. What saith you, silent dark one? Or words to that, if you say something like that, okay. If, in other words, you get it and... and uh, if you say something like that, the hegemon answers and removes your hoodwink once and for all. Verily, so you've been blindfolded this whole time. Verily thou sayest well, know that Osiris is a black god and the straight way to the sacred sublime order that lieth not through the green pastures beside the still waters, but in the valley of the shadow of death his crook and scourge shall avail thee. In otherwise, in other words, what you're shooting for is the supernal triad itself. Saturn there is a great stand-in for Osiris, the black god. Okay, you're not there to jack around in the world of duality of all of that that is your goal not that and if you came to that realization if you said no now if i'm here to see osiris that's okay yep yeah, he blessed me that's good but with every blessing comes a curse so big freaking deal okay okay uh so the hegemon if you if you've uh had that little discussion. Verily thou sayest well, know that Osiris is a black god, and the straight way unto the sacred sublime order that lieth not through the green pastures and beside still waters, but in the valley of the shadow of death. His crook and scourge shall avail thee. Take them. Therefore, fold thine arms upon thy breast and ascend with me the seven steps to the thrones. So they give you the flail and crooks, the sign of Osiris itself, and they take you to the foot of the first uh, of the throne. The aspirant then does so, standing between the officers. The fourth throne is removed to leave a passage. The seven kings, okay, remember the seven kings that said, okay, then they rush upon you uh, and belabor him with their weapons. 
but he makes his way till they fall one by one. The seventh upon the second step, the sixth upon the third, the fifth upon the fourth, the fourth upon the fifth, the third upon the sixth, and second upon the seventh, and the first at the foot of the throne. The aspirant passes over their bodies and takes his seat. They then, each from his place, adore him while the two officers support him on either side. And then the hierophant addresses him. Frater, what's your name? This day have I symbolically placed thee in the seat of a brother of the AA. See to it that thy life truly reflect this gradual conquest of the, po of the powers of the seven. And never forget that thy path is the path of Osiris and that Osiris is a black god. They then conduct him from the temple. Okay. Now, what if you never come to that? What if you s sit there seven hours like an idiot holding your pee for seven hours in the black dungeon? What happens in that case? Well, after the seven hours are passed, the aspirant is rescued by Osiris. Okay, guy dressed up as a side comes in and rescues him. The black officer. In the words already given, uh, omitting, verily thou sayest well, but using a sterner tone for the beginning of the speech, the ceremony proceeds as, uh, as before. So you, whether you sit in that dungeon for seven hours or whether you say hold it gang I just want to see Osiris you get that same wonderful speech but if they if you have to w wait in there seven hours and be rescued by Osiris you get that speech but the officer gives it to you with a sterner voice like you made me do <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. Does this ritual ever get performed? I don't know. But I have a feeling that each of us, whether we think we're joining the AA, the AA, or, or formally aligned with any uh, official order or anything else, everyone at this stage of their initiatory journey at this early stage of your initiatory journey goes through this series of ordeals and forced to deal with the seven dual powers of the planetary spheres on your progressive awakening to the consciousness of the supernal triad. It may not be as verbose as this, but I think you can see your own experience reflected uh, in this uh, in this ritual anyway that's it for today i've got a lot of writing to do today because uh wednesdays are i meet with the script writers so until tomorrow continue to be good to yourself and be good to each other do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law love is the law love under will Pass thou on.